MKM is the successor to MKI. The main difference lies in the avionics. MKI had a lot of Israeli avionics, not Russian, but at MKM most of the Israeli stuff was exchanged for Russian or French. Thales especially. The MKM is equipped with laser warning and missile warning systems, LWS-310 and MA-300, made by the South African company Avitronics, part of SAAB. The aircraft is also equipped with a modernized Russian-made radar warning system. MKI has integrated French, Israeli, Indian and Russian hardware like no other MK. The MKI can fire supersonic BrahMos cruise missiles, long-range Navator K-174 awoke kill missiles. Tests are also underway to adapt the ASAT missile. It consistently beats Western air agencies like Eurofire Typhoon, Rafale, F-15 and other aircraft in mock battles at red flag exercises and so on. Work is underway to adapt fifth-generation electronics derived from the PAC FA slash HAL FGFA. And Russia itself then designed and purchased the SU-30SM, which was used in Syria, their version of the SU-30 MKI along with the SU-35 Superflanker. Even though it is suffering from problems with low combat readiness, the Sukhoi Su-30 MKM belonging to the Malaysian Air Force, in terms of specifications, is a variant that is considered superior, even in terms of equipment intake and design. The Su-30 MKM is equivalent to India's Su-30 MKI, which in fact the Malaysian Su-30 is more capable on paper than Indonesia's Su-30 MK2 and Vietnam's Su-30 MK2V. Designed by adopting NATO standard all-material software, the Su-30 MKM even made history in 2017, namely by successfully launching the GBU-12 LGB's laser combined smart bomb, which is actually a type of NATO munition. As is known, the Su-30 MKM, which was developed from the Su-30 MKI, India, base, has a different avionics system from the Su-30 in general, namely that it is based on technology from Western Europe. For example, the avionics system relies on French products which have long had a market in Malaysia. The HUD adopts the Thales CTH-3022 wide-angle holographic, as does the IFF, identification friend or foe, system which is also made by Thales. If the Su-30 MKM uses a Damocles targeting pod, then what about the role model? Apparently India did not choose this type of device, instead the Su-30 MKI adopted the Raphael Lightning targeting pod from Israel. The Sukhoi Su-30 MKI, Flanker H, is a two-seat twin-jet multi-role air superiority fighter aircraft developed by Russian aircraft manufacturer Sukhoi and under license to India's Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, for the Indian Air Force IAF. A variant of the Sukhoi Su-30, it is a heavy, all-weather long-range fighter aircraft. Development of this variant began after India signed an agreement with Russia in 2000 to produce 140 Su-30 fighter jets. The first Russian-built Su-30 MKI variant was accepted into the Indian Air Force in 2002, while the first Su-30 MKI assembled in India entered service with the IAF in November 2004. IAF had nearly 260 Su-30 MKs in inventory as of January 2020. The Su-30 MKI is expected to become the backbone of the IAF fighter fleet until 2020 and beyond. <laughs>